back to Amber with more CMT News. Amber, are you hot yet? I am very hot, but I can't complain. Well, last night our very own Lance Smith got to announce the nominees for CMT Music Video of the Year during the TNN and CMT Country Weekly Music Awards. While he was doing that, I was backstage and asked Kenny Chesney about his upcoming tour with Tim McGraw. And my next question is, are you two going to get any trouble this time? <laughs> are you boys going to get any trouble? Oh, not, I'm not the instigator. you got to ask Tim. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sure that's what Tim says, too. Yeah. Neither one of you. <laughs> no, we're going to be good boys. Where the Blacktop Ends has been on our countdown every single day. I've been watching that. 13 days. I've been watching that. It's been great. Thank you for the emails, everybody. <laughs> I like reading the little ones in the bottom of the screen. Yeah, you've got so, some... I get, uh, I get to read those. You've got some crazed female fans. Lance has read some of those, and they're all like, he's so dreamy, we <laughs> love his voice. What is this about you duct taping a tour manager? Yeah, we, we hijacked Greg Dean, Lone Star's tour manager, and and played a prank on him while they were on stage. On the we, George Strait Country Music Festival. We did. We taped up his ankles and his wrists and put him in a <laughs> wheelchair and covered him in a blanket and then wheeled him down there and they stuck him on stage. So are you, are you uh, watching your back now? Ra afraid uh, well, of the retaliation? Already, they've already gotten me. They, last weekend they Minnow put water. minnows in my, yeah, in my drinking water on stage. That. I'm drinking it. I look, there's fish <laughs> in the bottle. <laughs> all nice, guys. Now remember, if you didn't get to catch all the action last night, you have another chance. CMT will have an encore presentation of the award show this Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time and Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern. For more on the latest music news, check us out online at country.com. And kick it over to Amber with the CMT News. Whoa, I'm dodging balls here. As fanfare swings into high gear, fans and stars alike turned out in 90 degree heat for an afternoon of softball and fun in the sun. CMT's City of Hope Softball Celebrity Challenge is one of the more popular events. It gives fans a chance to get up and close with their favorite stars. Mark Wills and Eddie Montgomery had fun with their fans, and so did Troy Gentry and Chris Cagle. Chad Brock showed off his muscles, and Billy Ray Cyrus was a huge hit with his fans. Check out all the softball action on CMT at 3 o'clock Eastern on Saturday afternoon. Billy Ray Cyrus seems to be all over the place at Fanfare, as the CMT and individual stars booths are now the top attraction. Fans start lining up early to get autographs, take pictures, and just hang out with their favorites. One of the first to open for business was Cyrus, who is always a fan favorite. Lone Star and Sawyer Brown also were early attractions. We'll have more coverage from Fanfare later in the show, but first, as we always do on Friday, here's a look at the Billboard charts. Tim McGraw took a double hit this week, losing both of his number ones. Trisha Yearwood's new album, Inside Out, knocked McGraw's Set the Circus Down off the top of the album chart. And Lone Star booted McGraw from the number one spot on the singles chart. Lone Star's I'm Already There grabs the number one ranking away from McGraw's Grown Men Don't Cry. Chris Cagle's single, Laredo, gets Billboard's Air Power Award of the Week as it climbs to number 17. And Mark McGuinn's new single, That's a Plan, hit the chart at number 51. And as always, for more on the latest music news, be sure to check us out online at country.com. And now back... I want to throw it back to Amber with the latest in CMT News. Amber, what's going on over there? Thank you, Lance. Well, we are just a stone's throw away from where all the fanfare fun is taking place. In past years, people poured into the Tennessee State Fairgrounds for the annual event. Now it's in a different place with a different look, but the fans' excitement is still the same, as you can see. There's been a lot of fanfare surrounding fanfares moved to the heart of Music City in downtown Nashville. Thousands of people flocked here again this year, but it's Adelphia Coliseum where the stars will perform this time. I like progress. I like change. Uh, change things up sometimes. I'm constantly, you can ask the guys in my band, I'm always changing things. <laughs> Except for singing the national anthem. Leanne Womack stayed true to tradition. She opened the official ceremonies with some help from Marty Stewart. Welcome to the world's biggest honky-tonk without a roof on it, all right? Fans traveled from everywhere. We especially come from Belgium for uh, this. This is really great stuff for us. We've always wanted to come to Fanfare and see what all the hoopla was all about. While some folks were rather laid back, others were anxious to see their favorite stars. Alan Jackson. Alan Jackson. <laughs> Kenny Chesney, number one. And Kenny Chesney's number one in our book, too. The fans are still ranking how well they like the change of venue. Fanfare continues through Sunday. For more on the latest music news, check us out online at country.com. Lance? 